Hi guys, so I'm going to do another makeup video for my Metal Tries Makeup series where I try to do a makeup look I've never done before. So I'm going to do a makeup look by a YouTube channel called Made You Look 2. Um, I'll link the video below, as always. And this is a wearable, like, Wolver Wolverine-inspired makeup look, like the comic uh, character. So I'll try my best. Might work out, might not. Um, I already put this on my eyes. It's my MAC eyeshadow in brulee. She doesn't, she doesn't do this, but um, I use it as like my concealer because like this is so smooth. It's almost like a cream. So, because like I have, a, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying I have, like everyone has veins in their eyes, but mine are very visible. <laughs> so I try to cover them up the best I can. Especially since she uses a lot of blues and I want that to really make them pop, so. So I'm going to take my Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D and I'll be taking, um, what is this? This is called Doom. This blue color right here. And I'll be taking this cheap brush. It's like a, just a fluffy brush. <laughs> and she says so like outer corner no, not outer corner, like outside in, kind of. I'll just have to show you. I'll be looking at the mirror in here, by the way. I don't think I've ever used this color, so I'm excited to use it. So the mirror is dirty. I'll try to show you the best I can. Um... Yeah, it's just, hmm. There we go. So she just kind of goes like that, I think. I think it's just because I'm pale, but like if you look um, at my eyes up close, I have like <laughs> kind of like dark circles. They look almost purple, like I got punched in the face and I have a black eye, um, which I, I didn't, but it's just. <laughs> I'm just saying things that make me self-conscious, but it's a pretty blue color. So I'm gonna keep building that up. It's pretty. And yeah, I think she goes a little bit here as well. Hopefully you guys can see me as always. Hmm. Let me keep building it up, make it brighter. All right. So I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera. Okay, so this is what we have so far and I forgot that she highlights her inner corner. So I'm going to take a uh, skull in the Pastel Goth palette and just take my finger and highlight the inner corner of my eye. Not a whole lot, but... The inner corners of my eyes are weird, like, it's like it has a fold in front of it, so it's hard to do anything with them. Like, uh, I've tried to do, like, liner on the inner corner, like, you know, like, uh, pointed liner or whatever. I can never do it, so, anyways. And then she takes, like, a navy blue. I don't have a navy blue in my collection for some reason, so I'll take this. Change Love Fantasy palette by Prism Makeup, like I always use. I'm gonna take, uh, hmm, how can I show you? This color, 
right here and the color on top of it and mix them together. Hopefully I can get an all right navy-ish blue. And she kind of puts it in the outer corner. Like she doesn't completely cover up the bright blue. So hopefully this will be close to navy. <laughs> we'll see, so. Like it's not navy, but it's darker, which I guess is the important thing because her obviously navy blue is darker than the blue that I just put on. So just keep doing that. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks all right. Now I'm going to do that on the other eye. Hopefully I'm in frame. I can never tell. Alright, so I guess something like that. So I'm gonna clean off the brush and then she says that she takes like the tiniest amount of black eyeshadow. So from the same palette, I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow, just do a little, maybe two taps into it and tap it <coughs> and put it where I put the navy color, but not like more isolated if, that, isolated, if that makes sense. Just kind of tapping it, just to deepen it up. Now, how does that look? Uh, okay, doing the other eye, just tap it in this area. I'm gonna clean that off. Well, by cleaning it off, I mean just brush it on my hand to get the excess off because we're gonna take like a, a yellow color next. That's good enough. Like my hands get so dirty whenever I do makeup because it's just uh, eyeshadow gets everywhere. So really the only yellow color I have is this one right here, so I'm gonna use it. And actually, I'm going to use this um, e.l.f. eyeshadow brush that my aunt gave gave me, and it's flat. Cause she she uses like a flat brush to um, pack it on. So that's what I'll use. So let's take the yellow color and put it on the eyelid, basically where the blue isn't. Like I said in my last video, this like series is making me venture out cause like I never wear blue or yellow eyeshadow like I've never even touched the yellow eyeshadow in this palette before. <coughs> if you ever see that, it's just me. It's the powder I tap off. Yeah. Okay, so adding more of that. Just until I get the pigmentation, if that's the right word, that I want. There's a lot of fallout, but I think that's okay because it looks like she goes under her eyes with the colors anyway. So I won't, I won't make you sit through the whole thing, so I'll just do both eyes off camera.
All right, so this is what it looks like, and it looks like she uh, uses the navy color on like her on her lower lash line. So I'm gonna use this. I just have a bunch of cheap little brushes in my collection. This brush with the tiny little brush. Is that a Again, I keep thinking that there's like spiders on my carpet, but it's not. I think it was just a hairball. But so I'm gonna take the two colors that I combined earlier to make the navy. In fact, yeah. Take the same two colors, this one and then the one on top of it, and just do my lower lash line with those. And hopefully it'll work. This like these eyeshadows eyeshadows are awfully powdery, so you're gonna get like a lot of dust in the air <laughs> might yeah i'm gonna go on a little bit with this one too just to make it darker and if it's not if it's not dark enough i'll go in with a tiny little bit of um black but here let's see if i can Yeah, I might have to go over it with a little bit of black because hers is darker. With all the makeup I have, I'm surprised I don't have a navy color. That's odd. I guess, like I said, I don't really wear blues, so... I guess it makes sense. That tickles so much, by the way. Also, uh, would you guys ever want me to do like live streams? Cause I think I can do that now. I think I have enough subscribers that I can do live streams. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know. Yeah. Let's see, hopefully this will look all right. Oh, that tickles so much. So I'm going to take the three colors, I think, and just add one little tap of black. Let's see if that doesn't make it a little bit darker. Okay, good. It, it, oh, it went in my eye at that time. <laughs> Should be a little bit more careful. By the way, she, um, hang on. <laughs> she got on top of the yellow with like a yellow gold color, but I don't have that, um, so I'm just gonna stop with the uh, matte yellow color. It's an eyelash. Make a wish. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, what's your guys' favorite comic book character? I don't, like, I was never really into comic books. My brother was. Like, he was way into Spider-Man for a while. And then, like, Batman. I'm not sure if he's into any of them now. But I know that he used to be, for sure. Like, I've seen all of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies because of him. So, I think that's good. Okay. So, that's that. And then she um, does a regular, well, I guess a regular winged eyeliner. So, that's what I'll do. And I'll show you again. Oh, I keep forgetting. I always forget to show you what eyeliner I'm, I'm using. Uh, it's this e.l.f. Black Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not sure where I got it. I think it was like a two pack on Amazon. And this is the kind of tip that I prefer. So I'll show you how I do it. Um, 
again, the best advice I can give anyone wanting to learn how to do eyeliner is to just practice. But that's a bit with anything really. So I just go with the outer corner. You see, outer corner, out, back in. And then I just do the line over my lash line. It can take me a while to get it right. I've been doing this for years and I still mess up, so like, don't feel bad if you mess up. Hopefully, you guys can see it. So, like that and I prefer this kind of an applicator just because the other kind that's like the felt tip marker I don't know if my skin is like wrinkly but it drags over my skin and kind of skips so there's like gaps in it and it's just it doesn't work out very well for me um but everybody's different so it might work out better for you than this kind so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then I'll be back hi guys oh that's a really bad glare. I'm not sure if I can get rid of that. Can... There we go. I have to cover up with my hand. This is, this is what we have. Um, let's see if I can use the palette to block it out. Uh, she uses like a black pencil in her waterline, but I don't have one of those, so I'm not going to do that, of course. Um, like with eyeliner... At least with, with me, one usually comes out longer than the other or thicker than the other. It's just how it is, <laughs> you know? Um, so like from my last video, I was a big dummy and forgot to take a thumbnail picture before I removed the makeup, but I won't forget this time. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the glare. It's just a weird time, sun-wise, I guess, uh, in my room. So I'll see you guys next time. Hang on one second. You're gonna see a glare for a few seconds. <laughs> I'll see you guys I'll see you guys next time. Bye.